Hey, so I wanted to share a quick tip about Mac OS that I usually like to use if I get a new Mac um, or if I'm given a Mac or using it for the first time or I get a new work computer, whatever the case is. Um, so I, I typically prefer to not have my desktop showing any desktop items. I actually just prefer to see my background and then uh, if I wanna see what's in my desktop folder, so to speak. Um, I can just see it in the finder itself. So I can I can go to like desktop here and then um, I could go to that in finder if I wanted to. Uh, and then I just kind of have the background that I choose as this desktop. So um, if I want to do that to hide all these desktop icons, I'm gonna open up the terminal and to do that, I just did command space, open up spotlight, and type in terminal. And then from here, you just do two commands. It's gonna be defaults, write, whoops, com.apple.finder, and then you want create desktop. And this is now gonna be false. By default, this is set to true. Um, that's not gonna do anything because it's already true. Once I do false, It'll change that setting, and in order to apply that setting, I want to do kill all finder, and this will basically restart finder. We don't have to do anything; it'll automatically restart once I kill it. So we'll see like a quick flash maybe of the finder, and then the icons will disappear. And now I could still get to my desktop. Let's see here. Um, if I want to open the finder, let's just go straight there and I can go desktop here and then you see the same things that were on my desktop and now it's just in the finder. So I can still open up the folder. Um, everything that's on this desktop, it's like completely hidden. I can't do anything now here. It's just kind of a nice pretty picture, whichever I choose. And then if I want to do it back, uh, just press up arrow a couple times to go back to the previous commands and I can set this to true. Again, in order to apply it, I have to do kill all finder and then it'll be back. But I prefer to have this hidden. So I'll do this one last time, kill all finder, pay attention to the capitalization of all these commands. It's important. But yeah, all you, all you have to do is copy and paste these things. I'll include this in, des in the description so you don't need to manually type them in. And uh, I'm on Mac OS uh, Sierra right now. So this should apply to most Mac versions, but uh, in the future, it's always possible that it changes and uh, this command could change just by a few characters, but this should apply in most cases. And uh, I'll make sure to include a link in the description that'll, that'll be updated uh, in case of future versions. So that's how you clean up your desktop, make sure it's clean. And if you ever want it back, you just switch this from true to false. Excuse me, if you ever want it back, you switch it from false to true and uh, kill the finder and then it'll get back and you can use your Mac as you want to. But that's how to hide icons on your Mac.